Yep, it's all about the color. All about the color. Alright, let's go fishing. We gotta catch a fish. What's up, everybody? Keep fishing forward here again. This is King Bassin. Out here on Cherokee Lake. Gonna try and uh, figure them out today. Gonna try to catch smallmouth, largemouth spots. Actually, any fish that will bite. It's winter time. Water temp is 46 degrees. It's cold. Right now, it's like 40, 45 degrees outside. So, we on the yak. I'm gonna start off cranking a little bit on uh, some sloping points and see what we can do. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. Hopefully, catch some fish. Let's go. Starting off with a little Berkeley Pitbull 3.5. Oh, bird. One of them big water birds. That's a good sign, isn't it? I think so. Dang, it's really lovely. A dragon. I'm beached. I'm a freaking beach whale. Take this uh, mini recon from Guggen Baits and give this a shot. Imitate a crawfish. I don't really tie any kind of Pacific knot, like a clinch knot or anything like that. I kind of just wrap it around the main line six times. If this is the name of a knot, a Pacific knot, I don't know it. Uh, basically, take that knot, wherever that line, come through the hole. We'll grab it, and then you're gonna run it back through the loop that you just made. Wet it a little bit, and cinch it all the way down. Make sure it's nice and tight. Cut off the tag end. There you go, nice little strong knot. Learn just from Bass Geek. I'll leave his uh, channel down below if you wanna go check him out. Good buddy of mine. I feel like I need a little drink. We're drinking this nose. High performance energy drink. Yeah. Enhances mental focus. Clearly I have no mental focus right now. Oh yes, barely hooked. Oh yes, yes sir. Yes. Look at that. Caught him on the Guggen Squad Mini Recon right here. Good deal. Just munched it. I think I just tore my meniscus. I got excited, man. Dude, that was, that was Jeez, that was awesome. I'm not a big crankbait guy. Ow. Right, let's get him unhooked on that Guggen bait right there. Let's get him on this. All right, so a key thing when I'm tournament fishing, if you are in tournament fishing on the kayak, you can get your fish gripper, put them on here, kind of place them in the water. 
make sure you get your hog trough you give it a little dip dip in the water i like to place my hog trough down just a little bit so it kind of gives it a little angle grab the phone get it set up ready to go just like so then you can grab the fish he's been eating some crawl so get it off of that he's been eating some crawls as you can see he's red kind of lay him down as an angle right there get it all ready to go take a couple of pictures right now since i'm not in a tournament situation i'm gonna go ahead and get in get him back in the water right now but before you want to kind of look at your pictures make sure it's all good to go then you're good to go nice little large me good little belly nice see you later man see you later yeah let's go dab Woo! first fish crank mini recon Guggen bait you don't need to get one of those <laughs> you need to get one of those mini recon Guggen bait yeah Hopefully we can run a pattern right here. Right now I'm just cranking these these rocks. Not super fast because the water temps are at 47.8. But every time I come across a rock or something like that, I kind of pause it for a second. There's some huge rocks. So far I ain't getting none of the small stuff. Oh, come on. At the very end. At the boat. At the boat. <laughs> right at the boat, man. <laughs> Not a good fish, but I mean, it's a fish. I think he wanted that. Sometimes you have issues like this where the mouth stays open. What you can do, grab your fish. Stick it back in the water just for a few. Grab him again. Undo this. Pull him back in there. Nice to pick. Say goodbye, little fishy. Two fish. Lure of today is Guggen Mini Recon. Guggen. Guggen. No, 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 no. Just straight munch. Let's go. I was looking around at the freaking boat that was leaving. He just came up, grabbed it, and went down. I didn't even set the hook. He did it himself. And that's some good hooks on the Google base. Little mini recon doing work. Super crazy to think about this though. 47 degree water temp. I'm cranking. Cranking for these fish. It's like that game mode on Call of Duty. Cranked. Dang right, I'm cranked. Another thing I noticed, second fish, second time that I'm seated. Could that mean something? Like when you stand up, can you like, can the fish like sense that or something? Got him, got him. Oh my God, biggin, biggin. Humongous. Oh my gosh. Biggin. Oh my goodness. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, it's a freaking toad. Oh, stay down. Come here. Come here. Where you at? Get in the net. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Let's go. Bird nest in the reel, but that's okay. Let's freaking go. Get some! Let's go! Ah. Googan! <laughs> Googan! <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. I gotta breathe for a second. Can we have a tournament today, please? <laughs> what are you doing over here? <laughs> Yeah. No. 
Gurgan. Yeah. Gurgan. Gurgan. Secret. Secret. Gurgan. Gurgan. There's the bait. Nice. I mean, actually, I'm gonna hide it for you guys. Gogan. Gogan. Nineteen. All right. Good deal. Let's say goodbye. See you later. Look at that red gear action. Yeah. Nice. All right, so let's talk about what I just caught that fish on. <laughs> using Corrado DC from Shimano. It's the six two to one gear ratio using a favorite balanced rod. It's the uh, seven foot medium heavy modern action, 14, 16 pound line and using the mini recon from the Guggenbaits. First time, actually it's not the first time I'm using this. This is the first time I've actually caught fish on. A lot of times when I'm using this, I kind of just throw it out because I'm not a big cranking person. So I don't really know what I'm doing. I know that you need to bang it off stuff. So starting to have a lot of faith in this now. Fish are jumping all over the place. Let's go catch some more. Let's add up the things. So that's got us at 48 fish, 48 and a half. Nice. All right, so key number thing two, third fish, third time sitting down in my feel-free lure 11.5 kayak. Whether it's in tournaments or not, always check your line. And if there's anything that you kind of have second thoughts on, always retie. It's better to retie than to hook into a big and then lose it. I'm taking the extra, you know, five minutes, whatever it is, retie this lure so I don't break off and lose it. We are throwing it up against the bank, kind of beating it off of things whenever I feel like a good consistent beat on the rocks. Give it a little pause. That's why they've been cranking. Get cranked. Let's go. All right. Remember, this episode is spot not not really sponsored, but you know, NOS high performance energy drink. Let's go. Great. I love my kayak. It's a little older model of the feel free lure 11 fives. It doesn't have the pedal drives, of course, but that's okay. I still like a, I still like it. It's super stable. Love it. I do wish I do have a pedal drive. Or fish tournaments out loud, put the troll motors on it. I really like to have a boat. What'd you throw in? Oh, got another one. Got another one. Googan. 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 <laughs> God. Let's go, Guggen. Get in the net. Let's go. Yes. I think he wants it. Like Guggen. No, no, no. It's like a. Uh... Hey, I think that's a spot. Hey, that's a spot. Trifecta. Uh, yeah. Bandit. Like. Get a measure on him. The reason why we're, we're measuring right now, me and dad's got a little tournament going on and uh, we're trying to practice too. Measuring our fish, making sure everything's good to go so that whenever it's game time for tournament day, we are good. Locked and loaded. Man, that dude's fat. All right. Good day of fishing, man. Nice spot. Here we go. See you, buddy. Can I say the Guggen Bait Mini Recon is freaking awesome golly this bait is freaking redonkulous redonkulous catching toads catching fish catching everything man freaking love this thing i'm gonna go buy 10 more of these things let's go ahead and add that i don't know i'm freaking high right now 63 63 and a quarter got one Yes, sir. Finally on the board. DT? Well, how big is he? 
Largy? Yeah. Yep, nice little largy. Nice and for me. I'm happy. Got the skunk out of here. Shit. Gone. Gone. So a key, another key little thing about the Guggen bait. Um, mini recon. It only dives three to six feet. That's good. It's shallow. It's power fishing in the wintertime. Yeah. You can't beat that, man. You cannot beat shallow cranking in the wintertime. Most of the time, people want to go offshore. I don't know if you all ever have any, like, issues with your elbows, shoulders, or anything like that. While fishing, you know, after a long day of fishing, you know, you have some elbow pain. You know, whatever. If you all have any pain like that, let me know. If you think I should do a video on, like, how to kind of help reduce the pain level. I'm trying to give you some things like stretches and things you can do on the water or off the water to kind of help with that stuff. Um, just kind of let me know. Just, you know what, just drop a comment down below if you want to see a video like that and kind of give me an idea of what, what's bothering you and I'll do something because a little background about me. I've been a CrossFit coach and I'm, I'm studying to be a PT at school now. So love to try and help fix Things. I've been doing CrossFit for about eight years. I've been training, uh, been coaching classes for seven. Um, I do a little bit of co CrossFit competitions on the side. I kind of like to do that professionally. Like I said, drop a comment down below if you want to kind of give me any ideas. If you guys are having any issues with your elbows, your shoulders, your wrists, knees, back, whatever it may be. I gotta do something. These hooks are too good. They not only do they catch fish, they stick into the fish. They stick into my net too, man. Huh? What? I'm catching fish. Nice, nice smallmouth. Last the rest of limit. So now I just gotta upgrade my my small ones. <clears throat> 80 inches, baby. Well, 70. 79 and a half. <laughs> Number six, baby. I think he wanted that one. Jeez. Googan. Who needs an R uh, DT6? Googan. I think he'll upgrade. Go, this fish number six, baby. On the Googan. Good deal. Try to get 90, Mike. 1475 81.15 6 Another one. Oh my. Biggin. 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 Same spot. Biggin. Thank you.